Alright, here's the USB adapter thing, wireless in adapter that I bought from, it's a Belkin Basic. I plugged it into the machine here, on the side of the WDTV machine. I spent a long time only to find out that if the wired or wireless menu option doesn't appear on the screen, that um, that does not support it. And since it didn't come on, it's not supported. So now I have to take it back to the store and get a different wireless adapter. Very frustrating. Okay, I returned the USB adapter I had before, and this is the one I bought to replace it. It's a Cisco Lynx SYS AE1000. It says High Performance Wireless N USB Adapter. I bought this one because I couldn't check the list at the store. I asked the woman that was working there if she could pull up the list and she couldn't pull up the list and she told me well this one would probably work well I'll get I get home and guess what it doesn't work so now I have to go back to the store and take this one back so it's getting more and more frustrating with Best Buy and this time I took a list or I'm taking a list a printout of all the ones that do work so hopefully I can get the right one this time Okay, I just got back from Best Buy. I finally got one that works with this machine. It's the Netgear RangeMax Dual Band Wireless and USB Adapter. And the model number is WNDA3100. This is the only wireless N1 out of all the USB adapters that works with this with the WDTV media player and it has some papers a couple papers here and the CD and this and then this tray thing has the device here it says got a red sticker telling you to run the CD first before connecting this device but the media player doesn't have a place to put a CD in it so I so I'm just going to try it without putting the CD in. And this is the USB cable. And these are just Velcro things that they include. And this is like a stand, I think, for the USB adapter. Okay, so I bought this one here. This Netgear WNDA3100 model. I thought it was going to work. Well, when I was, you know, looking for these things at Best Buy, this is the only one they had that was even on the list. But the list says on here for WNDA 3100 that Western Digital put out. Their own list says that that it will it will work as long as there's no version number listed which was the case on the front of the box it said WNDA 3100 it didn't say anything about version 2 but once I opened it up and tried to use it you can see like on the disc here it does say WNDA 3100 V2 for version 2 and after looking at it for a while I did see that there was one spot on the box under the package contents here I don't know if you can see it here it's kind of blurry it does say after the model number V2 but it's only in small print on the side of the box everywhere else including the back of the box and every place else it just lists it as lists the product as WNDA 3100 so this one does not work either. So none of the ones that Best Buy sell works. So this one's going back to the store too, which means I'm going to have to start looking at other places like the internet and other stores to find a product that will fit and work with this um, WDTV device. It's very frustrating. Okay, after buying all these wireless in USB adapters that didn't work, I realized that the stores, most of them don't carry them, so I went to Amazon.com and I bought this one here. 
It's a Linksys, a division of Cisco, certified refurbished product. It says wireless and USB network adapter with dual band. And the model number on it is WUSB600N. And it says down here N Ultra Range Plus. So hopefully this one will work. Now included in the WUSB600N from Linksys. You have the device itself here, and the cord, USB cord here. Well, actually, I think it's a stand. It's actually a stand, I guess. And a cap. Apparently the cap came off of the USB part. And then it comes with a, a CD. And it's made specifically for the refurbished version of this product. And then it has a warranty paper from Linksys. Now the stand I was showing a little bit ago, it acts like an extension cord. You plug the device into it like this. And then the other end goes into the computer or WDTV or whatever device you want to use it with or a machine you want to use it with. Okay, I plugged the USB adapter in. I thought the USB light would come on, but it didn't come on. Here's the device I plugged in. And here's the screen. It says, please choose your network connection wired and wireless. So it looks like it's working. <laughs> 